Texting and driving kills, but people keep doing it. And tonight, Matthew Smith breaks down ways that parents can get involved in a special Speed Zapper report. Driving can be dangerous enough. Each week, we track speeders in your neighborhoods and find people going 5, 10, even 15 over. But there's another problem. Text messages. According to the National Safety Council, more than 200,000 crashes a year are linked to this. Texting and driving. Safety experts say you have to be educated. But as Tom Everson, founder of Keep Kids Alive Drive 25, will tell you, you have to practice safe habits just like anything else. We seem to understand that in sports. I mean, if you practice a skill for a sport often enough, you become better at putting that into action in a game. Everson tells me when it comes to safer driving, we could all use a lot more practice, whether it's safer speeds or just obeying traffic signs. But when it comes to texting and driving, well, I've actually downloaded a brand new app that can help. Let me show you how it works. This particular app, it's called Drive Mode. It's actually pretty cool because when you're driving like I am, once you top 15 miles an hour, you need to just set the phone down. That's because once you top 15 miles an hour, it will shut everything off other than emergency calls or navigation apps if you allow it. If you're a parent, you can even set it up to send text alerts if your child is driving and disobeying. If you're an AT&T customer, you can set up auto reply so people know you're driving. But if you use another cell phone service, the app works without that auto reply feature. Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News. Matthew has more details about that specific app and also others you may find useful on our website at WOWT.com. You can look for his report on the Speed Zapper page, and to get there, just click this green tab.